The clock now ticking for maybe the end of springing forward and falling back. And, uh, yes. The Senate voting unanimously Tuesday to pass the Sunshine Protection Act. No more dark afternoons in the winter. No more losing an hour of sleep every spring. The bipartisan bill would make daylight saving time permanent starting next year, ending the ritual of adjusting our clocks back an hour to standard time in November. Pro daylight savers say that extra hour of afternoon sun could help the economy, letting people stay out later and even boost mental health for those with seasonal affective disorder. It is a sad time. People are unhappy. It does darken our lives in a very literal sense. We have sunset in Rhode Island at 415. 415. What ends up happening is, especially for these 16 weeks a year, if you don't have a park or an outdoor facility with lights, you're, you're basically shut down around 5 p.m. Most people support the idea of staying on one time all year, with recent polling showing nearly two-thirds of adults who say they want to stop changing their clocks altogether. I, for one, think this is a fantastic idea. No more 5 p.m. sunsets anymore, you guys. But some critics point out a darker side to daylight saving, pushing instead for staying in standard time, what we're used to in the winter. The American Academy of Sleep Medicine says that keeps sunrise and sunset more in line with our body's natural rhythms. And the advocacy group Save Standard Time argues daylight savings darker mornings, for example, could mean more dangerous commutes for those headed to work or school. Got to be clear here. It's not a done deal yet, right? It's got to get to the House. The president would still have to sign it into law. If that happens, though, at least 18 states are ready for it right away. They've already passed laws that would shift them into permanent daylight saving. But here's the thing, gang. Don't forget, we actually tried this temporarily back in the early 70s. What was interesting was that after a couple of months of it, people really liked the idea. They did it for a couple of months. Public support plummeted. So this may be one of those things that's like a be careful what you wish for. Just oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know we get, did a test run in the 70s. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you you went from like deep. 80% to 40%, you know, from December okay. to February, because people didn't like it so much. Yeah. Hallie Jackson is so thorough in her she reporting. She went all the way back. Yeah. She's there, all right, thank, thank you, you, Hallie. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.